In the atmospheric Italian drama Fog and Crimes, nothing and no one are what or who they seem. Not distinguished looking older women, not police officers, not lawyers, not children, or even old fishermen. Dov'è? Chi? Yeah, ma sapete benissimo quello di cui sto parlando. Noi non abbiamo niente da dire. Determined to see beneath the surface is Inspector Franco Soneri, whose laid-back manner belies his drive to get at the truth. All'inizio sembrava un caso facile, sesso, uomini, cose strane. Invece... Invece? E invece nessun caso è quello che sembra all'inizio. E questo non fa eccezione. Soneri's ability to uncover the truth may be his greatest strength, but it also gets him in constant conflict with his superiors. Soneri, innanzitutto io con lei non sono mai tranquillo per principio. E adesso come ciliegina sulla torta lei mi dice che si vuole mettere a fare lo psicanalista. Lo so, dottore, però vede lei... lei è più interessato al mio modo di pensare che alle indagini. E quindi non riesce a discutere con calma la linea che scelgo. Per questo non la informo di tutto. Lo faccio per lei, se no le viene mal di stomaco, acidità. Most of the time he maintains an impassive exterior, which masks an ever-present grief over the death of his wife. Come che conoscevi la pensione di Gitta? Perché Ada viveva lì in quel periodo, quando faceva il corso per infermiera. Tu andavi a trovare Ada in quella pensione? Io in quella pensione, anzi, nella stanza 104. Ho vissuto credo i giorni, i giorni più belli della mia vita. Eh, mi sa che da quella stanza ancora non ne sei uscito. As emotional as he is, he's not comfortable with other people's expressions of feeling, which leads to what may be one of Italian television's most genuinely awkward moments. Fog and Crimes found an enthusiastic television audience in Italy when it ran for three seasons between 2005 and 2009. The stories are based on the novels of Valerio Varesi, which became popular for their sense of history and their exploration of the societal causes of crime. Only two of his novels have been translated into English, and the books serve as a departure point for the series episodes rather than providing specific storylines. Scenario is played by Luca Barbareschi, who brings a depth to his portrayal of a complicated man. In addition to his acting career, Barbareschi is a well-known figure in Italy because of his political involvement, having served as a member of parliament since 2008. He became famous in 1980 through his association with the notorious horror film Cannibal Holocaust, a film so realistic its director was arrested on murder charges. Barbareschi was one of four actors killed in the film who signed contracts requiring them to stay out of all media for a year in order to fuel rumors that the film was an actual snuff movie. Only when the contracts were canceled and the actors appeared on a television show were the charges against the filmmaker dropped. Eh, fare un'indagine è un po' come fare un mobile. Bisogna, bisogna saper scegliere tutti i pezzettini e, e farli collimare insieme. The love interest in Fog and Crimes is played by Russian actress Natasha Stefanenko, who began her acting career after winning the Look of the Year contest in Russia in 1991. She then traveled to Italy and began a career in films and as a popular television host. Before Stefanenko became famous as a model and actress, she earned an undergraduate degree in Moscow, studying metal engineering. Siamo fatti allo stesso modo. Stare insieme e vivere separati è la migliore soluzione. 
Non mi è molto chiaro questo concetto. <ride> Puoi ricominciare dall'inizio ogni giorno come fosse il primo. The other main character in the series is the River Po. It shapes the landscape, the climate, and the lives of the people who live on its banks, both rich and poor. And as anyone who tries to look beneath the surface of things can see, its power, its effect, and its mystery can never be fully understood. The River Po nourishes the people of Ferrara, and it also hides their secrets. Secrets that, upon occasion, are discovered by people like Franco Soneri, who have eyes to see. <laughs> 